Well, we're joined by Katie O'Donovan, who's from Mumsnet, and uh, obstetrician Professor Ellis Downs as well. Good morning to both of you. Um, Professor Downs, is this a problem that there are staff who are not appreciating that the mums think they're carrying a baby and therefore miscarriage should be treated much more sensitively? Yeah, I think it's a really big problem. I think Mumsnet survey today highlighting really the huge lottery and scandal of how so many women who go through the trauma of miscarriage are often not getting the psychological and physical care they need. It really does vary where you are in the country. And of course, although very few women die of a miscarriage, we do know that one pregnancy in five ends in miscarriage and about 50,000 women a year are admitted to hospital and I think really what this survey shows is the pattern of care they see can be so patchy and there's a real need in a busy NHS unit for overstretched staff to allow them to have time and I'm afraid that does mean some resources and some training so they can give women the care and compassion they need it's really sad time. Mm. Katie was that was that the main concern for women on the survey that they'd felt left down with the aftercare? Um, it was one of the concerns, but there's lots of different elements to it. One is just simply how long you have to wait for a scan. So if you have a sign of miscarriage, your GP refers you for a scan. That really, that's something as a mum, as a, you know, someone who's pregnant, you're waiting to find out if your baby is still alive. And actually in half of cases that was taking at least 24 hours, sometimes three or four days. You're also treated alongside women who are delivering healthy babies when you're miscarrying, which can really hurt. And only a third of people felt they were getting the right pain relief. You can't imagine that for any other um, medical procedure so the care is really important people are losing a baby and that for them is you know something they need support with but also it's about the right treatment and at the right time um, Professor Downs, um, in this survey, almost 60% of respondents wanted counselling, but only 12% were offered it. You'd think that counselling was almost, you know, automatic in these cases, considering that these mums have suffered a loss. You, you're, you're absolutely right, and it's so important to help people physically and emotionally. And all too often on busy gynaecology wards, the definition of counselling is here's a leaflet. Um, you know, you need a little bit more than that, but getting access to services. Services. The, the, the cuts that are happening in gynaecology and women's care at the moment are huge. Gynaecology wards are going, so we're often seeing that people with miscarriage are lumped onto a general surgical ward next to somebody who's just had bowel surgery. I mean, how can this be a compassionate way for a woman going through the trauma of miscarriage to be treated? We should say that the, um, the Department of Health told us that they are working hard to improve care for women who've miscarried, employing more midwives, investing millions in bereavement rooms and uh, additional support as well. But Katie, it seems like too many women are left wanting. Absolutely. I think what's been lacking so far is actually real leadership and saying this is a really important health issue for women and we're going to make it change. So we've got a five-point code of care and we're asking Jeremy Hunt, the Health Secretary, and all the political parties to commit to improving it in the lifetime of the next parliament.